the dashboard designer helps you create visual paths through your org's data to highlight key metrics and insights. Dashboards are made up of widgets, which are the building blocks of a dashboard. In this video, we'll cover how to add a widget to a dashboard and then cover most types of widgets. To start, let's create a blank dashboard. Because widgets snap to the grid, let's shrink the grid cells to enable finer control of widget sizes and placement. Click the gear icon to open the layout properties and increase the number of columns and decrease the row height in the dashboard designer grid. Now, to add a widget, drag it from the toolbar and drop it on the canvas. To customize the widget, set its properties in the right panel. Resize and reposition it as needed. Let's get familiar with the different widget types by looking at a dashboard we've already built. Use number widgets to track critical business metrics, like total opportunity amount. Use chart widgets to create interactive visualizations that summarize large amounts of data, such as the one shown here. If we look in edit mode, we can see that there are tons of chart types to choose from. Use table widgets to show record level details in a dashboard. Here, we see a values table where each row is an opportunity. Although not shown here, compare tables let you group rows and add custom columns based on calculations. Use filters to focus your dashboard on a key segment, such as a salesperson or a region, or to remove particular records. Select a segment of a chart, like Chris Riley's new business, to filter the dashboard. This type of filtering is called faceting. To enable more filter options, add global filters inside of a global filter panel widget. You can create each global filter based on a measure, a dimension, or a date. For a date global filter, you can select a preset date range, such as last 30 days, or specify a custom range using either absolute dates like 526 2015, or relative dates based on today, like six years ago. To remove your selections, click the Return to Initial View button. Use image widgets to add graphics and icons. You could add the company logo to brand your dashboard. Use text widgets to label parts of the dashboard and add short descriptions. Use container widgets to group widgets or create sections. For example, group all number or filter widgets in the same section. When you move the container, all the widgets inside move with it. To avoid a cluttered dashboard, break up its content into multiple pages. And then use a navigation widget to let dashboard viewers move to other pages in the dashboard. To let users jump to a page, dashboard, lens, step, or even URL, use a link widget. To learn more, check out these resources, or join us on the trail at trailblazer.salesforce.com.